I am from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our Chica Chica, Chica, Chica extended move update. Long vacation. What? Okay. Long vacation. <laughs> we are going to be back uh, relatively soon. Uh, four to three to six months, we're going to be coming back. Yeah. Sometime around February, March time frame, we're going to be uh, starting to come back for a while. And by that point, we'll have a lot better idea what's going on over there. True. Uh, we're hoping that things are going to be uh, opened up well enough that we can get to Malai Balai sometime mid-November, maybe Thanksgiving time-ish to check out the property and meet up with a couple of other expats, maybe have an American Thanksgiving over there with Mama, Papa, and everybody. Yeah. Depending. <laughs> and, and all this is just depending on and how things go. the travel restrictions, yeah. But they are starting to open up more. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at probably buying a multi-cab, one of the dual-cab multi-cabs. Yeah. That there's a dealer in, in Cebu City that we've been talking with. There's one priced out to where we think we can get, you know, we, we can afford it, but we, we think it's worth the money. Yeah. And we just need to check it out. And he just got a new one in. It's a yellow one. <laughs> Not in love with the color, but she doesn't mind it. And it's primarily going to be her, her vehicle. So. Yeah, I like it. I have a name already. Uh -oh. Sunshine. <laughs> All right, she's already named it. I guess we are getting it. <laughs> we we get to drive our own little ray of sunshine. <laughs> yeah, it's yellow. It's sunshine, right? Okay. But it, it, it's pretty cool, and it's got uh, power windows and all that stuff, power locks, I guess. It's an automatic transmission. Yeah. Uh, it's got 4x4 four four for me. It's got the pickup bed. It's a multi-purpose. Like it benefit. It's both win-win situation for us. And, and it's got a nice back seat compartment that Mama and Papa can get in. Yeah. Uh, Mama and Cindy, when it's the four of us. Yeah. And I, I think it's going to be a good thing, and it'll be a, a great complement to the motorcycle that we've got. Yeah. Especially when the four of us want to go, or if you and I are doing an extended trip taking dive gear, whatever, yeah. well, we'll have it to where we can go without an issue. So we're hoping that because of with, with pri having private transportation, uh, that inter island ferries are going to be opened well enough that we can go out and get yeah. uh, so a Roro 2 CDO. Yeah. Depending. So it's depending if. So it's just up in the air. But anyway, so we'll just keep you updated. Um, well, it's two o'clock. It's two. Well, it's two twenty-eight. It's two thirty yeah. on Wednesday the seventh, and that means we are how many hours? Five hours or four hours, and you have something. Yeah, we're we're five hours from leaving from Wheels Up. Yep. Uh so this is going to be our last. Chica Chica from the U.S. for a, for a while. Yep. And we are 29 hours from arriving in Cebu, assuming everything goes on smoothly. Yeah. Which, we've never really had any kind of major hiccups. Yeah, and it's our first time to go directly to Cebu, too. Our yeah, first. normally we fly into Manila. Yeah, but today we just don't want to go there. Yeah, with everything going on, we eh, Manila was not a good option for us yeah we'll go with not a good option it, if we had to have we would have yeah and you and i had a talk about that that yeah it, it would have been kind of almost a last resort situation but you know we could have and would have been able to do it true so um we'll keep you updated we're gonna emphasis on try here <laughs> we had a discussion before this that, that <laughs> we don't do these completely unrehearsed we do discuss them before we start yeah. And she made a good point because I'd been saying that, that we were going to do. And I'm going to amend that, that we would like to try and we'll make a, every reasonable effort we can. Yeah. After we get our quarantine clearances, 
in Cebu. Yeah. That we are going to try and do that evening a live stream to answer anybody's questions that may have, yeah. that they may have, uh, and just relate what it took for us to get to Cebu, Cebu. and go through the PCR test. Yeah. Uh, that keep an eye out. If you haven't turned on notifications yet, turn on the notifications. And I'm, I'm thinking we're probably going to be able to do it, but life happens. Yeah. For all we know, one or both of us could test positive. Internet could be horrible. It, it, there's just we way just too many things. Know. We just don't know yet. So no. we're going to we're gonna make every reasonable effort to do so, but keep an ear out for a live stream. Uh, we will dot. We will do a lot better job documenting our travels today from this point out. Yeah. But my apologies for not getting a whole lot of this documented. It's been kind of a cluster with changes and happenings in life and everything going on. <laughs> I see why a lot of these don't get documented terribly well. Yep, that's true. But for now, my, my boo high. Good job.